Hi, my name is Mike Aben and welcome to Abduction. Bit of a different game than what you normally see me play, but I thought I would give this a little bit of a go. This game came out actually a few months ago, and I don't think it quite got the attention, at least in my humble opinion, quite got the attention that it probably deserved. So, uh, I'm going to actually be quiet for a little bit and let's just sort of watch the intro as we walk forward because this is one of these games that sort of, the less said about it, I think the better. We all lost everything. Everything but our stories. And they shouldn't be forgotten. I was three. It was April of 1983. Cecil, it was 1870 for you. Fam and Vera, you tell it like it was yesterday, but it's been 62 years since you saw that blast of light. Light. That's where all of our new stories began. It streaked across the sky, mesmerized, but unnerving. Even in daylight, Joseph, you said it was gloriously bright. But in the twilight, it was spellbinding. Whether it was in the deep woods like Cecil, or right outside town like Jane and Jenny, we were drawn to see more. Vera, you said you recall smiling. None of us understood. But... Well, we followed, and we all felt some kind of trepidation, and yet attraction. So we approached it, and it approached us. You all remember, there was no turning away. It advanced, almost like purposefully spinning slowly until, well, it found us, each of us. We should tell these stories because it, it saved us and I don't know if I'm quite a fan of the title. Uh, and to sort of explain a little bit, this is a game of uh, long hiatus from a, co a company called Cyan Games, and they are most well known for their Mist games. And I guess Mist was spelt with a Y back in the day, so <laughs> this is Abduction spelt with an O. And uh, this is really. A predecessor, or a, its heritage, I suppose, is the point-and-click style adventure games like Myst and like so many others. And I'll, I'll just talk, I, this is a game that actually kind of meant something. Well, Myst kind of meant something to me personally, because although I've been into video games basically almost since I've seen video games, <laughs> since I first saw my first Pong game, and I'll, I'll leave that to let you surmise what my age would have to be. And, uh, but for me, video games were always a distraction, something that you didn't feel compelled to finish, you didn't feel compelled to really invest yourself in, you did it because it was fun, you did it because you got to shoot at things, or have things shoot at you, or dodge things, or whatever the game happened to be about. But Myst was the first game that really sort of drew me in, where I really got invested in the world, invested into the characters, really wanted to, uh, really wanted to see how it ended. It sort of told me at that time, this was a few decades ago now, that video games can be more than just shooting at things. Video games can tell a story. Video games can be a medium to which you'd explore a narrative. Hello. Bonjour. Ciao. Hola. Hello. Shora. Ni hao. Welcome to Hunrad. My name is Josef. I am the mayor here. 
You are most probably a bit confused and disoriented. But let me reassure you, everything will be fine. You're not the first to go through this experience. The others who have come before you will help you adjust. Follow the trail to the house with the white picket fence. Fali will meet you there and introduce you to your new life here. As I was saying, um, it sort of drew me right into the world, and this, this game is very much in the tradition. Not in the same universe as the Myst games were, but definitely of the same sort of a feel. So when I saw that this game was coming out, it kind of got me a little bit excited to see something new from Cyan Games. And I don't know how long I'll keep going with this particular series. It is a puzzle-based game, so certainly if you're into puzzle-based games, the last thing you need is somebody showing you how to do all of the puzzles. So I probably will end it at some point, but I do want to give people a bit of a feel for it. See what it's like. To Caroline, or whomever you might, whomever else might come back. It has been five days and not a soul has returned. I am inclined to believe that things have not gone well. Yet surprisingly, I am still alive, and that both supremely perplexes me and gives me some portion of hope. I have retreated to my vault for protection and to contemplate my options, CW. Ooh, and on that ominous message, we'll have to see what this is all about. Ah, Farley, yes, the video mentioned Farley, or the video, the welcome message. Hi, um, I'm Farley. I guess if you're seeing this, then I wasn't able to... Just in case. Um, welcome. But it's probably not safe here. To be blunt, we're getting ready for a battle. I don't know what you'll find. I just thought I should. Um, just be cautious. With who you trust, CW may be here. I don't know. Just be careful. I've got to go. See you soon. And don't panic. As jarring as this experience is, you really will find Hunter have to be a decent place. Take a little bit of a look around while we're here. This is a game where you definitely want to take your time. Take the time to explore, kind of absorb the place. Do not approach anything that even remotely resembles this diagram unless it has been disabled. Which probably means we should exactly approach something that looks like that. <laughs> and uh, the one thing I've always loved about the, the Myst games, the Cyan games in general, are the way in which, I mean, the, the puzzles are fantastic, but the, it's really about how those puzzles get incorporated into the world. The puzzles make their own kind of logical sense. Figuring out the puzzles really comes about figuring out the world and figuring out the mechanics of how it is working. And so it doesn't seem like the puzzles are just out of the blue and arbitrary. They really feel like necessary and part of the world itself. So as I was saying, I don't know how much for how far I'll go with this. If people really like these, I'll keep going with them. But um, probably I'll just go a couple of episodes, just enough to so people can sort of get a feel for what this is all about. I have, by the way, played through the game already once so I know what's going on <laughs> but I don't I'm not gonna spoil that aspect of it oh yes and this was a Kickstarter thing so we get backer rewards hidden around in here
And that's another thing why I'll probably take my time or probably not do a ton of episodes because this is something that you want to take your time and in that way this probably will be a slower video series than perhaps what you're worth what you're used to seeing. Oh, we got another one of these messages downtown Hunrath. We have a healthy, thriving community here as you can see. Our garden was planted years ago and has supplied plenty of food for many generations. The buildings around town serve multiple purposes, including housing, schooling, and storage. I'm sure you have run across a number of folks already. No, not really. Many were brought here, like you, and some actually were born here. We all feel we are part of the whole. The one thing I can say about uh, these types of games is they do feel kind of sterile sometimes. I will, I will fully admit to that. That you get these sort of kind of dead-like world. Ooh, lasers. And the live action in this day and age, having live actors, I mean, is can be a little bit, uh, a little bit jarring right it's 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 unusual it's not used to seeing but I kind of like that they did go for live actors for those scenes oh, another one of these firefly type bugs that's going here Obviously, we press this button. Something's happening. Not a lot of information, as would be typical. Of course, he's going to spend pretty much the entire game hidden away in there, and we're going to have to do all the work. That was uh, Rand Miller, by the way. That's his real name. And uh, he is one of the founders of Cyan and is actually the hero in many of the Myst games as well. Oh, here we go. The switch. And it works. We are going up. Oh, we got a water wheel there powering it. See, this is the thing, you gotta figure out how. So that's obviously what's powering this thing. And uh, yeah, he is one of the founders and he seems to insert himself into these games. Uh, as, as well, so with even despite his really bad southern US accent but it wouldn't be the same game without him a bit of a vista here
Note the uh, sort of, I don't know what you would call that sort of uh, desert sort of feel here. U.S. desert sort of feel here and yet strange alien landscape in the background. That is actually telling you something about this game, but I won't spoil anything. i got two ways to go. Let's go this way. I don't know if that was the right way. Oh wait, there's a switch over this way. Always head towards the switches, I think is a fair thing to do. dam and a switch I would assume for said dam I am correct we now have water flowing down that way okie dokie a little faster what was up this way Alien landscape. Oh, nothing happens. Okay, we'll go back. Note that for later. Oh, and our Diverting of that water has shut this down. I don't think I can get down this way. Oh, we got a freaking lazy... Oh, we can't get... Even if we could get... Yeah, so... Well, with luck, this would feel dangerous, but maybe gravity can be our friend with this thing, so... Switch the switch again. Oh! You're being gently lowered. But, that's it. Switch will not go now. That's telling me that no longer works because it's no longer being powered by that water. But let's go over, check out where that water, the water went this way. We'll go check this out. We must have diverted some water this way for some reason. Oh, we have another message. Or another uh, of these message terminals. The waterfall. I don't know if we can figure that out. Part of our ecosystem here is our supply of water. It is supplied as a natural process of the system itself. But we don't really understand how, although the entire system is very closely tied together. The fact that one of the most important necessities of life has been provided to us has led many to believe that this place has a purpose. Others attribute a complex natural process which we one day hope to understand. What a waterfall? We are glad to have all the water we need. Or I guess just the fact that there's water here at all. Yeah, I guess, like, because we are kind of locked in this strange alien purple world. The water is mysteriously coming from somewhere, but let's go down here, investigate down this area. No, we have a switch. Switches are good. Let's look up, and there's a cable connects to there. Okay, so let's switch this and see what that does. Nothing. Okay. Let's cross across here. Locked. That is a theme that you will see a lot. <laughs> Our locked doors that you got to figure out how to get them to unlock. All right, we've got a strange propeller-like device here. Does, definitely I can grab it. Oh. Well, 
let's go see this. So, see the water is now pushing more on that left side than on the right side. And this switch here actually releases a catch. So when I do this... Oh, nothing. Maybe I need to only... Maybe there's something blocking it on the other side. So maybe it's forcing me only to go... Actually, that does make sense. Because if we think about this... If it rotated that way, <laughs> this would now be on the other shore, and I would not be able to reach it, and I would be screwed. Game over. So it's forcing me not to do something stupid, and put myself into a situation where I can no longer progress in the game. That type of foresight is appreciated. There we go. We are in a new area. And with that, I think I might be drawing this particular episode to a close. Let me know what you think. Let me know if you would like to see more of abduction. And uh, I'll at least do one or two more. These are really nice and quick to do uh, in between while I'm doing KSP videos. So it's not like this takes me away from KSP. Anyway, we will see you next time.